Hello again, this is Mr. Pickles 911 and today I've made a Lego Labyrinth. So the aim of the game is to get one of these little metal balls like this from the start of the puzzle, or here, to the finish, which is over here, without falling in any of the square holes that are scattered throughout the puzzle. And you use the little wheels on the side to do this. So I'll use this one to tilt the, the frame this way and then this one tilts it the other way so we can navigate the puzzle using these two wheels so give that a try now I'll get my ball put it at the start and off I go hopefully I won't fall in any holes this little bit here you probably can't see it on the camera but it's higher on the side that I'm on at the moment so I can't just roll straight through it but I can roll through it from the other side so So I've got to be a bit careful when I'm doing this bit. It's pretty tricky. <laughs> I've got stuck. There we go. So that was the easy puzzle. One of the great things about this puzzle is that it's interchangeable, so I made it look easy on that first one, I actually got a bit lucky, but with a bit of practice you get used to it. So I have actually made some other puzzles to go inside, so I've made it so you can remove this board, like that, put that aside, and then you get a different one. I've themed this one with an industrial theme. So before I put that one in, I'll just show you the insides of the machine. So, all, the mechanism is actually hidden underneath this grid of beams at the moment, but what these beams are for is so when the ball falls through a hole, um, it creates a platform and then it catches the ball and then rolls, rolls down. It's supposed to, it gets a bit stuck sometimes. And then it rolls down a ramp onto there, back, back into where you take the balls from at the start. So just show you that again just like that and they come back out so I'll put the second puzzle in now and I'll play it for you so you can see what it's like this one's a bit harder this is the medium difficulty one and there's more to come after this so stay tuned okay give this a shot now. So I'm trying to get from this grey panel here to this red panel here. So I haven't done this one in a while. So you can see my ball came back out. Give this one one more shot and then I'll move onto the hard difficulty puzzle. Maybe one more. It's a bit addictive this game. Okay, I think I'll stop that one there. I've now inserted the hard difficulty puzzle and this one's got a desert slash park theme. I've got to get from the park bench here into the water hole of the desert. So give that a shot now. Yeah. This is the hardest one, I've only ever solved it twice. No, once actually. And I've tried it many more times than that, I have to say. Give it a few more shots. When you watch me do this one, you can see just how lucky I was on the first one to get it first go. This will be the last one. Okay, so I couldn't even get past the park there. Couldn't even get through the sand castle, so that one's a lot harder than all the others. Now I've also created one last puzzle, and it's a bit different to all the others, and I'll put it in now. Looks a bit weird at the moment, but in a few seconds, you'll understand. It's for holding an iPod Touch. 
So I've got it all set up now, and I'm playing the light version of Labyrinth 2, and I'm going to start right now. So this is the first level. I'm tilting on the sides, and I've just got to get the virtual ball to the finish. It's a bit different to the others, but it's still fun. So we'll go to the next level. This one's got some cannons. So hit the green button, and that turns the cannons off. And then I can make my way to the finish. This is really good because it's a bit more challenging than holding it in your hand. It makes for a bit more fun. I tried making a um, board to put my iPad on, except um, the iPad was actually a bit heavy. <laughs> so I couldn't really do that, which was a bit annoying, but. The iPod Touch is still good. So there we go, I've just done three levels. Hope you liked it, that's my Lego Labyrinth. And please comment, rate and subscribe. Bye.